Investing is a popular way to build wealth and achieve financial independence. However, not all investments are created equal. Some investments offer high returns with a greater risk, while others offer lower returns with less risk. In this video, we will explore a high-return investment strategy that could potentially 10x your wealth. We will discuss the risks and benefits of this strategy, as well as provide tips and advice for those looking to invest in it. I'll demonstrate the investment strategy I'll use to purchase a $65,000 Porsche Boxster for less than a tenth of the price. So, watch this video till the end and learn how I did this. But before we move on, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's begin. Now, I know that many of you are still not sure if you want to buy Bitcoin or not. But pay attention, because what I'm about to tell you will change how you think about cryptocurrencies and put you on the path to 10x profits, whether you want to buy a new Porsche, a house, or pay for your kid's college. When we know how much Bitcoin will cost, we'll talk about how you could use this money to pay for your house or car. I know that many of you are still not sure if this is an investment or not. The greatest investor of all time Warren Buffett has said that Bitcoin is rat poison times two. But keep in mind that the same was said about stocks, bonds, and every other investment before it became a recognized asset class. Before World War I, less than 1% of American homes had stocks. Now, more than 50% of American homes do. Even though some people doubt it, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have reached a point where they can't be stopped. It can be controlled by governments, and hedge funds can try to short it, but it is becoming a real asset class and part of the economy, just like stocks and bonds. Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, is one of the most vocal people against Bitcoin. He has called it a scam and said it won't last. Still, the biggest bank in the US, which has assets worth $3.2 trillion, just said last week that it would start a few investment funds for cryptocurrencies. Two things, in particular, suggest that Bitcoin will still be a good investment. Second, as states compete to get big Bitcoin mining companies that were kicked out of China, Bitcoin mining is becoming a bigger part of the US economy. Texas is working hard to incorporate cryptocurrencies into its economy. For example, 36% of the state's electricity comes from renewable sources. One company, Bitmining, just put $26 million into a 57-megawatt data center in Texas. This made hundreds of jobs possible. Investors in Bitcoin are worried about how the government will regulate it, but if Washington makes laws that people like, they won't kill a sector that states are trying to build. Another factor is that these big investors are getting ready to put a lot of money into cryptocurrencies. This will be important for the Bitcoin price predictions we'll look at next. Fidelity just finished a study of 1,800 institutional investors, which is a $150 trillion market with assets that can be invested that are more than seven times the size of the US economy. Financial advisors, wealthy people, and endowments are all examples of institutional investors. More than 70% of this group said they plan to invest client money in cryptocurrencies in the next few years, and 90% said they would do so by 2026. Regulation has recently become a big issue, but will Washington pass laws that kill cryptocurrency? Aside from the fact that more and more countries and people are using Bitcoin, rich people are putting trillions of dollars into the cryptocurrency market. This money is funding political campaigns and stopping Congress from passing laws that would ban it. The big question is how much Bitcoin is worth. How do we get from the current price of $40,000 per Bitcoin to that tenfold return that will turn $6,000 into $60,000? We'll look at three different analyses that predict the price of Bitcoin, and then I'll show you how much I'm investing in Bitcoin and how much you should put into your own portfolio. Tim Draper, a venture capitalist who made billions by investing early in companies like Twitter, Skype, and Tesla, gave us our first price estimate. Draper compares Bitcoin to software companies like Microsoft or online shopping sites like Amazon by saying that there will only ever be a maximum of 21 million Bitcoins. Bitcoin's price will go up because it will be the most important currency for the next two to three decades. Draper says that Bitcoin could be worth $250,000 by the end of the year, which would be a return of more than five times and then some. In the past year, the biggest news about the price of Bitcoin was that institutional investors and businesses were keeping some of their cash reserves in Bitcoin. ARK thinks that a 1% allocation of the cash reserves of the S&P 500 companies to Bitcoin, like we've seen from Square, Salesforce.com, and Tesla, would raise the price of Bitcoin by an extra $40,000, and a 10% allocation would raise it by $400,000. 
As more businesses hedged their dollar risk by increasing their cash reserves in Bitcoin, the value of the US dollar against a basket of currencies fell by 12% last year, and inflation is rising by more than 4% a year. Only because companies are investing, our price per Bitcoin goes from $90,000 to $450,000. ARK says that institutional investors like pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, and private investors could add another $100,000 to $500,000 to the cost. In this case, we can see that a 1% contribution from wealthy people, pension funds, and other institutional investors raises the cost by $100,000. Kathy Wood, the CEO of ARK, says that when everything comes together, the price of one Bitcoin could go up by more than 10 times, to $500,000, or $500,000. Dan Moorhead, the founder of Pantera Capital, said that the price of Bitcoin will rise to $70,000 over the next 10 years, which is a return of 1,500% from its current value. This is another prediction for the price of Bitcoin. There is a lot of difference between these Bitcoin price predictions, but not in terms of the trend. The only thing that seems to be certain is that the price of Bitcoin will go up, and it could easily return 10 times your money in the next 10 years or even less, even though stocks have always been expensive and bonds don't pay anything. I don't think you should worry about their short-term Bitcoin values because of this. When I first started investing, I spent a lot of time looking into how Bitcoin's price changed daily and monthly so I could evaluate it and predict big drops. But when I started to think about the bigger picture, my whole way of investing changed. Is Bitcoin dangerous right now? You can be sure of that, because it could go back down to $20,000 or even $30,000 in the next month, which would be embarrassing and make the rest of my hair gray. But even if Bitcoin is only worth $200,000 or $400,000 in 5 years, the $40,000 price will look like a good deal. With a profit like that, that $6,000 turns into $60,000. It turns a down payment into enough money to buy a whole house or pay for college. Please keep in mind that I'm not telling you to put all of your money in Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. I have about $10,000 invested in Bitcoin and Ethereum, but most financial experts say that 1-3% to is a good place to start. In conclusion, investing in high-return investments can be a lucrative way to grow your wealth, but it comes with a greater degree of risk. It is important to do your due diligence and thoroughly research any investment opportunity before committing your funds. Keep in mind that investing is a long-term strategy, and it is crucial to maintain a diversified portfolio to mitigate risk. While the investment strategy discussed in this topic may have the potential to 10x your wealth, it is not a guarantee. As with any investment, it is important to carefully consider your financial goals and risk tolerance before making any decisions. If you like this video, don't forget to share, hit the like button, and subscribe. Click on the video to the right, cause we'll be giving you more of these. Thanks for watching, and see you at the next one.